Virtually every retail store um, can purchase a hole drilling bit for you. If they don't have them in stock, you can call around or you can get them to order it for you. They're not very expensive and all the distributors that carry stained glass products carry these bits. And they have different sizes. Here's, here's one example of one. And this is just a, a little drill here. And basically I'm gonna just put the piece in the drill and make sure it's straight so it's running straight. Um, I utilize a cup of water with a spoon and a little bit of plasticine clay. And I just take off a, break off a piece of the clay and roll it in a snake. Bend the snake around so that it's connected into a donut. And I put that donut right where I want that piece of glass hole to be. And this is the same process virtually if you're cutting a piece of hole in a piece of tile um, or stone, it's the same thing. And I take a little bit of water and put it right in that donut. And I look to make sure that it doesn't leak. And that's good, it doesn't. Now with a bit like this, it has a hole in the center. And um, there are different kinds. There's one, the one that's arrow shaped. It doesn't have any diamond at all. And the arrow shaped one doesn't last long, but then again, it's easier because you can put it straight down. With this type, you need to start the hole at an angle to create a little bit of a grind mark on there. And what I do is I, I brace the drill against my hand and come right down where I want to and just make it a little bit of a cut from the side. I'm just leaning, all I'm doing is leaning down on that. I'm slowly going to tilt, tilt it up very slowly, very slowly. You can see the, see the glass debris floating around inside. And I'm slowly coming up, slowly coming up, slowly, slowly coming up, and I'm pressing down the whole time. Now I'm vertical. Now I'm just gonna sit there and just wait for the bit to go through. Doesn't take too long. Sometimes, there it is. As soon as the piece jiggles like that, you know you've gone through, and you're ready to do your center cut. And that's the way we drill a hole. Okay, now I would like to show you um, a use of this accessory kit along with the separating blade. We've drilled the hole in this piece of glass and what I've done here is laid out a frame, a three quarter inch frame around this piece of glass. And what I'm gonna do is create a solid frame without any breaks in it so that you can use it as a mirror or as a frame for a picture um, or a sun catcher, whatever you want to do. Um, as an example of one way to utilize the uh, accessory kit along with the separating blade. Now I've inserted the blade through the hole and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is cut up to the line. I take the straight edge and move it as close to that as I can get it and put a little bit of pressure on it because I know when I put the pressure on it the blade will move forward a little bit. There it goes. Now I'm going to push the glass back a little bit against the straight edge. I'm going to back this away, put it on the other side, put this right next to the glass again.
now put it in the front like this. A little bit of pressure on that. do is do this at an angle. Now we open it up, take it out, and we have a perfect stained glass frame. Very nice um, way to, to utilize the separating blade, in addition to a lot of other things that you can do that will um, give you a lot of fun and a lot of enjoyment. And actually, this saves you quite a bit of time uh, because you have all those pieces you didn't have to foil, all those 45 degree corners you didn't have to do, um, and it's cleaner and really, really looks professional when you put a frame around this. And you can, ideally, you can also put a frame within a frame within a frame uh, if you want to get more detailed with it and uh, do some just beautiful, beautiful work. And as you can see, it's a nice, nice clean frame for picture or mirror, what have you.